what are the chances that you can flip that? See this pocket right here? Yeah. What are the chances you can flip it into that pocket? Uh, one in ten. We gotta work on the release a little bit. All right, so we're in Pine Island Sound. I got Danny fishing. He has yet to catch a redfish or a snook. Our tide hasn't kicked in for us yet. About another hour, 45 minutes maybe, the tide's gonna be coming in really strong. We're just coming off of this full moon, so it kind of sucks. But uh, we're gonna try to go ahead and excite a redfish or a snook. Jan, pull to your right. Uh, he just got off. No, he's on. Catfish, are you shitting me? God dang, it's sun. <laughs> Hell yeah. What the f is that? Oh. All right, so we caught a pretty big pinfish today. Here it is. And as you can see, when we caught it, the first thing I did, took my knife, got it up here, and I killed him right away. Um, so what I want to demonstrate to you is if you are going to fish cut pinfish, this is just the way I do it. I always say this with everything I do. This is the way I do it. Not necessarily the best way or the right way, just what I know works for me. So cut pinfish for redfish awesome piece of bait okay you take it like this <clears throat> and all we're doing is going down and we're cutting off a nice slab all right so that's what you got okay now to hook it you want to go through and you want to come out the skin because the skin is what's going to hold that on there all right so you got it hooked up right I use a 2 aught circle hook. I'll go up to a size 3 aught circle hook. Why such a big hook? Better chance of the redfish not swallowing the hook than you hurting the fish, right? So, you're going to make your cast. All right, so you're up by the bushes. Next thing you're going to do is stand here and wait. Do not do this in real. You gotta leave that in there and let the smell penetrate through the water. Have yourself a bourbon in the outdoors. Hmm? It looks fish worthy, it's perfect. Right where you wanna be. Just far enough out where they can't tangle you in the mangrove. Go, go, go. You got him? Yeah. All right, hold on. Don't, don't. You're pulled up too high on the bobber. See there? Told you, as soon as the tide moved, we were in. Nice fish. Let him wear himself out some. How cool is that? Let me see. Pretty cool. Huh? First redfish? First redfish. I can pull him right in. All right. Nice and gentle. There it is. His first redfish. Badass. Appreciate it, buddy. Let me get you a picture with this phone. So we're working on his backhand casting because where we're casting at, the boat keeps shifting, so he's got a backhand it, you know. Well, it's not easy to do because your whole life all you do is cast one way. But we have been presented with a challenge. The challenge has been accepted. There you go. That'll work. Just let it soak now. No matter what, just leave it. Flip your bail and pull some line out. There you go. Hey, pull up. There you go. Don't, you don't have to reel the whole entire time you're reeling against the drag. 
Okay. He's done. Okay. Hold that. Mm -hmm. Nice fish, huh, man? Yeah, dude. Wow. Now, when you release him, gently set him in the water. Go ahead. Now put his head in. Let go with your thumb, your right thumb, let go. Now turn them right side up. There you go. And you move them. No, no, you got to grab them. Grab them. All right, there he goes. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I got Danny out on the boat today. This was his first redfish. He actually got two. And here we are finally cleaned up and sitting at the Bourbon Outdoors headquarters, having a few fine fingers of this nice bourbon with an ice cube. So, congratulations to you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Glad you got him today. Uh, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the patience. And um, I promise I'll get better. And I won't yell at you anymore. I forgive you. Hang on. Let me change batteries. Or go, go ahead. Go ahead. By the time I get this done, you'll finally be on your fifth cast. Okay? <laughs>